Welcome to this edition of Town Talk. Taobao has accomplished a lot over the past few years in online sales, and has even shaped the trend of online shopping in China. Many foreign online shopping giants that have seen that success also want a slice of the pie in this huge market. This week, my colleague He Jian talked to Professor J. W. Chan at Sieves about Amazon's first attempt on Black Friday and that company's prospects here in China. Uh, before the Black Friday, we've seen a lot of、uh, media coverage、uh, saying that Amazon is going to try all his best for his presence here in China. But after this day, after this so-called festival here in China, we didn't see too much media reports on how much they achieved during this festival. What do you think was the reason for that? Well, I think、uh, Amazon、uh, in China related to say the Tmall and Alibaba. The platform, I don't think, is as successful as they expected. What they are saying right now, saying, "Hey, I can enlarge my、uh, portfolio to outside of China,"、mm -hmm. but this is new. So for Chinese consumers, they probably not been exposed as much. You know, the promotion of this event is not as much. So I suspect the effect probably not as big as Amazon expected.、Mm -hmm. Uh, we know this、uh, this Black Friday, Amazon wanted to try、mm -hmm. all his best here in China, and this could be considered as the first battle for their presence here in China. We believe that this fight for for the online retailers, Amazon versus Taobao or Amazon versus JD or Suning, is going to continue for a while.、Right. So, can we expect to see、uh, the promotional sales? Amazon, they have the product they sell almost like JD. They buy in and they sell high, right? They also have the platform very similar to Tmall, and that、uh, people come into platform and sell from that、uh, a branded product to the consumers. So the Amazon is sort of like a combination of these two types. But what if consumer wanted to exchange? That's going to be very difficult. Be, yeah, of course, that would be very difficult because shipping itself back and forth it would take maybe ten days.、Mm. So I think the elements of this logistic difficulties about the consumer return exchange. Might make some people hesitate to use this platform. You, you just mentioned Amazon's share here in China is very small. Being small, it means that it has a lot of room to improve. And I believe China has a huge market, and Amazon wants to take a slice of the pie here in the country. But they really face tough competitions, especially from Taobao. And Taobao recently announced they are working with、uh, Nima Marcus and Macy's in order to do the similar business to、uh, to Amazon. So,、uh, what is the prospect for Amazon's Uh, survival here in China. I think that's a very good question. It's in some degree very similar to saying you compete with JD. JD they have vertical integrations, right? They make sure that everything they under their control. So the consumer experience they claim is going to be much better if you buy something just unknown from Timo. So similar story here that if Amazon can control the whole shopping experience much better than say Alibaba going through with Macy's and Neiman Marcus. Then、uh, some consumer would choose, you know, which one would be better for them. But you're right; this is going to make Amazon a little bit difficult. You, you just mentioned purchasing products from overseas, from department stores in the United States, will、uh, make customers encounter problems like、uh, they will have difficulties in product refund and product exchange.、Mm -hmm. And it's a problem for Amazon. It's also a problem for for Alibaba if they now that they working they work with、uh, Neiman Marcus and Macy's and. Reputation-wise, I mean, in terms of reputation, Amazon doesn't have a very good reputation here in China. They they guarantee that、mm -hmm. the customer clearing service, it's、right. the period will be short, but actually sometimes it's going to be very very long.、Exactly. So how could they tackle those issues? Yeah, I think this is something they had to put the most efforts on because, in terms of the logistics, shipping, going through the custom, etc., is out of Amazon's control,、mm -hmm. and any of this can be linked. Is broken or maybe have a bad experience is definitely is going to ruin their reputation.、Mm. So you know, I think that、uh, a good idea is there, but execution definitely is making the matters, and、uh, it will decide whether or not this is going to work. Amazon is not doing well in this aspect, but how could how could we make sure that how could we say that Alibaba can do better in that? <laughs> of course, cannot. But I think、uh, one thing Alibaba is they're huge, right, and they can exercise their、uh, power. And if they realize that the platform reputation hinge on the customer experience, if they are good, then the the, the people stay with them.、Mm -hmm. 
About 10 years ago, or last century, uh, we can see pictures of people swarming into department stores, those physical stores, when Black Friday came and mm -hmm. when Thanksgiving uh, discount season came. Right. And nowadays, with the popularity of the uh, online shopping websites, mm -hmm. the scene may be gone forever. Mm -hmm. So what, what is the prospect for those physical stores? Are we going to see the decreasing number of those physical stores? Right. I don't believe the real stores will disappear. They still need places for people to go to hang out and window shopping. But most of the branded products or, or merchants, they start to think about, should I just abandon the real stores and open in, um, say, like Timo or the Alibaba? And uh, not everybody can be successful there because if you're an unknown, nobody's going to go in there and key in the keywords. Mm -hmm. So it's not saying that uh, go online is going to just a replacement of a real store. There's some balance had to be there, I think.